The Holy River Pamba flows silently from the foothills of the Western Ghats. It is believed that great civilization flourished on the banks of Pamba at Nelakkel. The story goes that Lord Parthasarathy sailed on a raft of six bamboos through Nelakkel to Aramula. Hence the name Aramula which means six bamboos. The Parthasarathy temple at Aramula is a center comprising of a vast heritage of art and literature. The Pandavadam is a living symbol of the heritage of the land. It synthesizes sculpture, music, culture and literature. The Pandavadams were built to protect the Thiruvanathoni from water bandits. The Thiruvanathoni is the ceremonial boat carrying food, vegetables and provisions for the Lord on Thiruvanam day every year. It is an intricate procedure constructing the Pandavadams. Beginning with the selection of an appropriate tree with the right length and breadth, seeking permission of the tree and angel while jackfruit, cutting it down using minimal machinery and relying more manual labor. The body of the board is built facing downwards. After the body, the hull is built, it is Winch up and position is corrected. After that the bow, the front of the board and the stand. The back is joined to the main body. There are rituals attached to every major phase of the board building. Finally, after the construction is complete a mixture of coconut oil and turmeric paste is applied all over the board. It is a preventive against bacteria and fungus attacking the wood. Once the boat is ready, after a grand ceremony, the boat is pushed by a large gathering of devotees into the water. It is allowed to float without horsemen or helmsmen. Once the Pandavadas accompanying the Thiruvanathoni arrives on the shore of Aramula, the boatmen are received with great reverences as it is believed that Lord Parthasarathy is one of the members on the board. A grand feast is arranged where many dish out of the traditional 64 ones asked for is offered to the boatman. A ritualistic song method is employed to request for the dishes. and culture which was destroyed in a matter of days by the flood which ravaged most of Kerala and especially Aranmula and its Paliodas. Irreparable damage amounting to crores of rupees wrecked the temple tower. Only the temple remained untouched providing shelter to around 400 citizens it being turned into relief camp. There are 52 hamlets connected to Aranmula and all of them suffered tremendously in the wake of the flood.
the heritage museum of the aranmula palliyoda seva sangam totally destroyed by the flood the palliyodam of rani hamlet was completely destroyed found miles away in viyapuram the coastal district alapura the palliyodams of varayanu and kudukulangara though retreat can never float again these objects of indescribable beauty representing the forest waters and the land have almost passed into the annals of time almost a century back in 1924 when flood devastated armula and its surrounding areas many palliodams were destroyed as the poverty stricken villages could not maintain the expensive upkeep of palliodams out of the 56 palliodams at the time ma20 remained in act to prevent such a vast loss the government and concerned humanity should take an urgent stance